Hello and welcome to Codex Column. My name is Sunny Solanki, and in this video, I will explain you how to create candlestick charts using Python data visualization library Matplotlib. If you follow along with me, then you will end up creating candlestick charts that looks something like this. Interesting, isn't it? So, without further ado, let's jump to my screen and create candlestick charts. Right, so here we are on my screen. Uh, as you can see, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open and we'll be creating charts in Jupyter Notebook. So, first of all, let me import matplotlib. So, as you can see, I imported matplotlib and printed the current version which is installed on my system. So, the data set that we will use for our purpose is Apple OHLC data set. So, I have downloaded this data set from Yahoo Finance as a CSV file and it has OHLC price for Apple stock from 2019 to 2020. So let me execute this cell and as you can see I have loaded the data set in memory and I have loaded it as pandas data frame. So we will be creating chart from pandas data frame using data available from pandas data frame. Now this data set has entries for one year. So I will create a small data frame from it that we will use for creating candlestick charts. So I have selected last 30 entries from this data set and created this new data set which I will call Apple DF small. So it has 30 entries from our original data set. The reason behind doing this is that by default if I create a candlestick charts for one year then it will look little messy. So in order to create a clear, clear and good looking matplotlib chart, uh, matplotlib candlestick chart I have selected 30 entries from our original data frame. Okay, so let's move on. Now over here, I have included a small logic. So what I have done over here is that I have created two different data frames, which is green DF and red DF. So green DF has entries from our small DF where close prices is greater than open prices. So these are the entries which will be used to create a green candles in our candlestick chart. And red DF are entries where close price is less than open prices. So this will be used to create red candles in our candlestick chart. Apart from that, I have also introduced a new column in both of this data frame, which is height. So height is calculated by subtracting close price, uh, open price from close price for green and from open uh, close price from open price for red DF. So whichever is uh, greater based on green or red bars we will be using that height okay so let me execute this cell and let me show you the content of both the data frames so as you can see over here i have a few entries not all the entries from our original data frame because some went to red df yeah and also at the beginning of the tutorial I have assumed that you guys have a background on candlestick charts so, so I, I have not explained in detail how candlestick charts are created right so there you go now we have our data sets ready so we'll be using this green df red df and the apple df small to create our matplotlib chart so let's go ahead and create a chart so first of all I will import pyplot api of matplotlib Then I will create a figure. Figure size will be, let's set it to 15 by 7. So chart looks quite a little better. Now, first of all, I will create uh, lines which shows uh, what is the low and high price. So that area. So let's, let me add comment gray lines. So we can do that by calling plt.vlines function and for x axis we will give apple df small of date and vlines let us specify 
two y values y minimum and y maximum so y minimum in our case will be apple df small of open no sorry not open low and y max which is the maximum price will be apple df small of i let me set color to gray so let me execute this cell and show you the result so how the lines look so we will create a candlestick chart incrementally so let me execute this cell and show you all right so there you go here we have our candlestick chart not candlestick chart but initial version of our candlestick charts where we have already plotted gray lines so now we need to plot red and green bars or red or green candles so let's create a green candles so we can do that using plt dot value bar method for x axis we will use so for creating green candles we will use green df data frame so for x axis we will give green df of date height will be green df of height the height which we calculated over here by subtracting open price from close price let's set color to green and yeah that's it so that's green uh, green bars or green candles so let me execute and show you this one as well all right so there is one minor mistake so we need to specify bottom as well from where the candle should start so that i will set to green df of so close price is higher than open prices for green df so we will start at open and height will be used based on the height specified in height column so let me execute now right there is a comma that i forgot over here so yeah so you see here we have our green candles plotted in our chat so that was green candle let's go ahead and create add red candles as well and for creating red candles we will use red df data frame so x axis will be red date red df of date height will be height which we calculated and bottom will be close prices because uh, close prices was low than open prices for red bars okay or red candles and for them i will use orange red color okay so let me execute this cell and show you our candlestick chart all right so now we have our candlestick chart ready and it looks better but let's make some modification let's add axis labels let's set chart title and let's modify x ticks as well so let me start from 200 so i will use range of 100 to 340 okay we will go till 320 and i will increase price by 20 every time and let's add labels tick labels so i will say for v in range dollar okay now this one should look better so let me execute this cell and show you the result hold on a second sorry uh, we need to set ticks for y-axis so my bad over there 
yeah there you go yeah so here we have our candlestick chart ready okay so yeah this one looks a uh, little ordinary so what i will do is that i will introduce a theme to our chart so let me do that so i can introduce theme by using plt.style.use and i will use there is a famous theme called 538 and it's a based on a famous blog 538 so let me execute this cell now let me copy our chart code over here okay so let me execute now and show you how the chart looks now with this theme enabled all right so now now it looks quite better so before we move on uh, let me make one more minor change to the chart to improve the look so as you can see by default this uh, these lines are gray and what if i want line color same as uh, candle color so over here green and red and so on so we can do that so i will modify our existing code and what i can do over here is that let me copy this code two times so the first time i will use green df And I will set the color to green. And the second time I will use red DF. And the color will be orange red. So this is the change we need to make to our chart. In order to change the color of these lines from gray to color of the candles. So let me execute this. Yeah, now as you can see here we have our candlestick chart. And this one looks quite better. So yeah, let's move on and we will add one more thing to our candlestick chart, which is volume. So we had a volume detail in our uh, data frame and I would like to display that volume of the trade below this candlestick chart. So let me copy this one and paste it over here. Now in order to add volume, uh, I will introduce uh, one sub chart below our original chart. So I can do that using let plot lib grid spec. I will create a grid. I will create a grid of size three by three. Now over here I will call figure dot add subplot. I will give grid. I want to go. So this is the grid of three by three. So I want to go till zero and one. So uh, uh, let me explain it with example. So let me import numpy. shape it to three by three okay so let's consider this is our figure and i will use this first two rows to plot our candlestick chart okay and the last row will be used to plot volume okay so over here when i add subplot i will select uh, column two to take rows first and second row okay and we need all the columns so i will call this axis one and then i need to create a one more axis for this one which is the second last row like this one okay now over here i will plot a bar chart uh, showing volume so as usual x will be apple df small of date Height will be apple df small of volume color will be let's use dodger blue okay and i think that should do so let me execute this let me modify this to ax2 let me execute this one and show you how it looks 
all right so there you go here we have our candlestick chart with volume so let me modify the size of a candlestick chart a little bit so let me set it to 10 15 by 10 and see how it looks all right so now this one looks better and we can call plt dot right layout and then see whether it's helping yeah now the labels are not overriding that much yeah so here we have our candlestick chart uh, with volume so it was that simple and this chart looks quite better compared to our initial chart so over here we created candlestick chart using simple matplotlib now there is a library named mpl finance that also let us create a candlestick chart and we can create candlestick chart with just one line of code now this library was originally part of a matplotlib but it has moved out of matplotlib and but it is still based on matplotlib so i will explain how to create a candlestick chart using this library as well so let me explain you how to create a candlestick chart using this library so in order to create a chart we need to call mpl finance dot so there is a method name plot now we can give it our original apple df small data frame as a first parameter and over here we need to call set index to date because uh, mpl finance requires that uh, the date is available as index of data frame so yeah i think uh, this should do so let me just execute and show you how this one looks okay so by default it creates this uh, ohlc chart which is a kind of a candles chart so if you want to create a candle chart then you need to specify type equal to candle okay and there we have a candlestick chart and there is uh, different ways to change the theme of the chart as well so let's say there is a parameter named style which accepts many different value so i remember one value which is charles so let me execute this one and show you now how charts looks okay so now this one looks a little better let me modify the figure size so there is a parameter named figure scale which we can set to float values to imp uh, increase the figure size okay so now this one looks Mm, quite better so this is only candlestick chart so if you want to display volume as well so how can we do that so i will copy the previous code and we need to add only one thing to our chart so i will specify volume parameter and i will set it to true so let me execute this one and show you the results all right so here we have our candlestick chart with volume so yeah that's it for the day if you liked our video then give it a thumbs up and if you want to learn more about candlestick chart then i would suggest that you visit our website coders column and you can simply search for candlestick over there and we have a very detailed tutorial over there on candlestick chart so over here we have explained like how to create a candlestick chart using matplotlib and we explained uh, MPL finance as well. But over here, we have covered many different libraries Plotly, Bokeh, BQplot, Coupling, Solitaire, and so on. And over here, we have covered things like how you can add technical indicators like SMA, EMA, RSI, and so on to your candlestick chart. So, this one is a quite detailed tutorial. So, if you are done with our video tutorial and want to learn more about candlestick or want to add more functionalities to your candlestick chart, then i would recommend that you visit this tutorial so yeah that's it for the day see you next time